Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Terminus Total War Imperium as the Arcane Rebellion. So, we just conquered Thessalonica from the theme of Macedonia. And now it looks like we have an Illyricum army on its way to, I believe, what, what would be our capital. Um, we're going to go ahead and repair Thessalonica, get that operational, get that up and running, and then we're actually probably ho hopefully going to reinforce these troops here in Corinthus. Um... Yeah. We've actually got a decent garrison, uh, some cohorts, commoditensis, spears, Sagittarii, scout, equitus. So this should be interesting if we <laughs> indeed are engaged in Corinthus. Um, it doesn't look like for now there's a huge reason to try and attack into this theme of Dardania. I'd like that, but I just don't think it's actually possible at the current moment. So let's let's maybe maybe make some sort of move towards Dracium. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Our army needs to replenish for a little while. We, we're actually fairly up to strength, I would say. We're actually not too... We're not doing too bad as far as our strength. Um, we got plenty of money. We have a decent income as well, although I do need to definitely focus my, my troops and my recruitment here. We're getting some, uh, some Palatina Guard and some Achaei Militiae. Uh, so I think what we can do now is... Um, I just want to make sure everybody's everybody's upgraded and that they all have their, their points. But I think what we can do is actually just end the turn here. Let's go ahead and end the turn, and um, this is the second episode of this of this series. Um, I think there was a good response to the first series, definitely, so uh, I'll try and get out as much content of this series as I can. So that'll be that'll be cool. Um, so my primary goal right now is to get a hold of Dyrrhachium. Uh Definitely take out this this army here, reinforce Corinthus, and and possibly even just have this second stack here permanently, and then hopefully press into uh, the Thame of Dardania, and then cut off. Um, Cut off basically Byzantium, cut off Constantinople from everything else, and, and hopefully we can march on in there. Let's see, we have the Morians over here in Mauritania. They're attacking my ally, the province of Africa. We're going to go ahead and enter that war. We're already at war with enough people. I don't think a couple other a couple other wars is going to make much uh, much of a difference. So we got a rank gain for our commander here, Virus Flavianus. Let's see, we got two skill points here. I'd love some integrity. Army recruitment capacity is not a bad idea. Public order would actually really come in handy. Uh, what's a level 2 public order? Level 2 public order is actually... Uh, or level 2 of this uh, this Dux skill. A man above men, born to command a leader. Dux. I guess that means leader in Latin. Uh, public order plus 4. That's pretty good. I don't see really anything else that could really come in handy right now. I would love some some replenishment here. But I think I am going to take this public order for now. Virius Nicomachus Flavianus. He got an epic poet. It means he has a plus two per influence earning situation. Sweet. And then we have encountered the Morians. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Is there any diplomacy that we can conduct? Uh, the theme of Crete and the province of Africa are relatively... I greet you as befits your reputation. Relatively friendly with me. Uh, we're at 105 and we're improving. And then we're at 79 with the Thame of Crete, and that's deteriorating. Okay, so we do we are defensive allies and such. The Thame of Dardania and the Thame of Macedonia actually could probably fall to my boot fairly easily. And the province of Illyricum, if we're able to destroy this army, we should be able to... I wonder where he's going. He's in he's in the double-time march right now. Or the, the double-time stance. I believe he's in forced march. So it means that he cannot begin a siege yet. I think he wants to, though. Uh, let's see, so our, our garrison here brings our troops in Corinthus up to about 17 regiments. He's, he's got 20. And his, I'm guessing up here in Salona, that's his capital. So I can, I can engage Dyrrhachium right now, secure that location. The Thame of Dardania might be a problem because I can't defend Thessalonica and Dyrrhachium at the same time. Thessalonica does not have a very large garrison at all. Um, but, I wonder. Hmm. The real question is, do I leave Thessalonica al alone and open for a while and see where these troops go? Because, I mean, if they try to make some sort of landing right here, which I I'm thinking they want to do. You know, this guy could, this guy could come up on land and start sieging down Corinthus. And I'd have a decent force to oppose him with, but, I don't know. Um, got some sanitation problems, I think. Outbreak of disease chances 2%. I don't know. Hmm. Can't hire... Actually, I can get some Germanic hunters. I don't know how much is going to come in handy, but... 
I guess troops, you know, any any troops I can get counts, right? They're actually fairly cheap to recruit most of these men. And then I guess we'll get some more, um... We'll get some commoditensis. They're okay. The Achaei Militiae. I kind of want those guys for sure. We've got some money. We've got some money together. 250 for for two of these regiments. So the, just, just recruiting two of these guys. 539 for the initial recruitment cost. And then 247 times two would be 500 ducats right there in upkeep. So I'm making about 500 ducats a month right now. And then these Palatina are 180. These cohorts are 165. I really don't see how, how cohorts... Versus a Palatina, I just don't see the benefit here. I mean, the melee attack on the cohorts is, is just terrible. I'd rather have Palatina, I think, every time. Let's see. Commoditensis are not bad, actually. I'm not really sure why they're more expensive than Palatina. We got less health, less armor, less melee damage. They are spear troops, though. I guess they're pretty good at defense, but the, the Palatina do just fine against infantry. Um... Let's actually go ahead and raise, let's go and raise some uh, Akea Militiae. And I know it's going to be super expensive, but we're actually going to send this army to come and attack Darachium, I think. And I want to see what's up with this guy. If I have to maybe, like, ambush him or something, I guess we'll try. But I want to go after Darachium. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm going to go ahead and go in aggressive stance. We're going to destroy the Thame of Macedonia. And occupy it. Yes, I, I think so. We want to keep Dracium for sure. And this is going to boost our income. And I'm not sure if it would be this if it would be the best move, but there is a possibility. I think we're going to rebellion next turn. Yeah, we are. I'm not sure if it would be the best move, but it would theoretically be possible for us to actually move some troops up north and attack the city of Salona, which is, I believe, the province of Illyricum's only settlement, is it? No, he's actually got three different settlements. Okay, so attacking him might not be the best thing. Uh, in the meantime, then, can I improve some of this stuff here? Roman paganism is is on the rise. Uh, we've actually got 52% uh, Greco-Roman paganism within our, our provinces right now. I would love to upgrade some structures, although I think I have to keep some money in reserve for some... Hmm. Can I avoid a rebellion? No, I can't avoid a rebellion. Oh, that's fine then. Instability, yeah, the conquest for next turn. Um, let's go ahead and keep some cash in reserve. I want to see what happens here. If I have to engage this army, um, I, I kind of want to see if I can trap him somehow. He can't get very far on land. He could definitely see John Corinthus, though. If I have to get some reinforcements down here quickly, I guess we're, we're really going to have to see what, what happens. I'm thinking what he what, what he might do is he might land over here somewhere or something. I'm, I'm really not sure if he's actually going to come on land and siege John Corinthus from, from land. He, I guess he could. It's not impossible. But I just don't know how likely it is. There's a, Byzant a Byzantine army up here. Uh, it doesn't look like they're very large. I can't see any. Can't see any force bars though. I don't know how how strong they are. Ooh, we got Roman separatists that just attacked us in Dyrrhachium. That makes that makes for uh, putting down a rebellion fairly easily. That's good. Cool. Two hundred fifteen money for some integrity loss. I don't know. But let's go ahead and just take the recruits. I guess two percent, and that helps. We just destroyed the Roman separatists. We just got development, uh, unified law. Now we're gonna go for this uh, Roman ethic. We have uh, various Nicomachus Flavianus. He got a weighted practice shield that keeps me strong and ready for trouble. Construction cost and research. Nice went up. There's an army here in Scoopy. Oh wow! Look at that. We got some troops. Okay, so where did he go? That's right. So, so, ooh. Shit, the Byzantines are bringing down some reinforcements. Don't want to do that. This is a full stack. Plus some troops. Wow. Look at that right there. So this guy could probably march into Thessalonica and Dyrrhachium unopposed. If I had to lose Dyrrhachium, I can lose Dyrrhachium. If I want to defend Thessalonica, though, we're going to have to move out to that location. The thing is, is this army here is worrying me. It looks like Limitanie, Cohors. Hmm. What I could do is, I think I can maybe leave Corinthus and attack this army here. 
I think we're going to have some unrest issues, and we possibly could lose Thessalonica. That's like a very real possibility. Because we have a Byzantine army here, and we have this province of Illyricum. No, you know what? Let's try it. Oh, look at that shit. Damn it. He withdrew. Shit. He went pretty far. He's got Limitanie, Commoditensis. Holy shit, look at these cohorts. He's got some Sagittarii. One-on-one, -on -one, I can take him with my Achaei Belitiae. The Commoditensis, I got a, I got a couple Palatina. We got some Levies, some Mercenary Germanics. We've actually still got quite a bit of movement range on this guy. Damn, Decimus Maximus, why do you have such a, like, a huge range? Holy crap, dude. He's got a huge range. At your command. Let's go ahead and give this guy some of these Equitis Principes. And I think one, one Palatina. Make haste, men. And now he can't move. That's great. Any Shit. Yeah, now he's out of movement range. Okay, that just fucked us over. So he can attack Corinthus unopposed now. Ah, oh, shit. Come on, dude. Fuck. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, now we're losing some money, too, apparently. Okay, I guess I can't do anything else but uh, end the turn. See what happens. Son of a bitch. Yeah, Attila can be annoying. <laughs> I think we can be attacked probably all, all across the Empire, I imagine. God damn it, yeah. We're gonna lose this. We're gonna lose Corinthus. Byzantine's actually attacked. It wasn't the, the Illyricum. It wasn't the province of Illyricum that attacked. What's he gonna do? He did not occupy it. Oh, wow. The Byzantines are sending a huge amount of troops after us. Holy shit, they got two stacks in our lands, plus this guy. God damn it. This is the theme of Dardania. So we just lost Dyrrachium. Holy shit. There's like another stack right here. Who is this? He didn't occupy it either. God. We got 9% war weariness from that. Holy God. My primary, my priority right now is getting rid of these guys. These are Roman separatists. Check that out. We hunger for battle. Set up the watch, Commander. Wipe them out. Absolutely going to destroy that stack. Wow, we lost 168. We killed 1300. We're going to go ahead and take on, take on some recruits, because I need to be able to replenish. And let's go ahead and get some. This is Decimus Maximus. We're gonna give go ahead and I think we're gonna give him some um, some household characters. I guess here house or I guess they're household items. We'll give him some authority and some integrity. Authority increases morale and public order. That's good. You cannot retreat. Well, I'm glad I had some money in reserve. Now we can repair all these structures next turn. It's incredibly expensive. Oh my god. We just spent so much money. You have no idea. So, this theme of Dardania, he's going back up north. God, we're going to be bankrupt. I mean, I really don't have a choice. I need to kind of get out of some bankruptcy if I can avoid it. We'll do, we'll do taxes for like one turn, honestly. Wow. Damn, okay. What I want to do now is I want to get rid of this guy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to force march this dude. Well, I guess even a, well, yeah. I don't care how tired you are. We're going to force march him right here. And I don't think this guy can retreat. I really doubt it. God damn it! No, you bastard. Fuck, really? He can still retreat that far? Son of a bitch. 
how, bro? I can attack him, but I don't have the force to defeat him. Son of a bitch. What's the ambush stance take? 50%. I guess I'm just going to try and ambush him, I guess. Uh, I don't know. There's not much else I can do. We're going to repair Thessalonica and Dyrrhachium in the next turn. Actually, I might just leave Dyrrhachium for a while. I'm actually going to go ahead and cancel the repairs on Dyrrhachium. And we're going to lower our taxes here for a second. I, I can afford to lose some money. I want to see what this guy does. I can defeat him, but I'm just trying to get my finances in order. We're going to make sure we keep some money. At least we got rid of the Byzantine troops. That's nice. I just want to get rid of this guy and we can push back up north. Corinthus has been sacked, though, so that sucks. I mean, since we already lost Byzantium, what's he going to do? Sack it again? Or since we already lost Corinthus, you know, the Byzantines sacked it. What's going to happen? They're going to sack it again or something? You know? The Byzantines are moving to reoccupy Thessalonica? The theme of Dardania, I was surprised he didn't take the territory for himself. Um, if I was him, I might have done that. Roman Separatist? The theme of Macedonia wants a peace treaty. I didn't even know. Apparently he's like a horde or something. <laughs> That's weird. Really? You're gonna attack... Really? You're gonna attack Dyrrhachium again? What the hell is wrong with you, dude? I'm glad I didn't repair Dyrrhachium. He's, he's gonna sack it again. Or no, he occupied it now. Fuck. Corinthus was attacked again. Damn. We just got sacked twice. Ready for battle. Okay. At your command. Ready for battle. Ready for orders. God, we just lost so much money. I can't even I can't even afford to repair this place anymore. Holy god. We hunger for battle. I can kill this guy easily. Dude, the entire city's been destroyed. Damn, we did not get that stack wipe. Mm. What can I do with you? Can I force march you up north? Sure. We're going to force march that force up north. We're going to kill this guy. Decisive victory, we're going to take on his troops, and then we're going to have him garrison Corinthus. And I'm going to repair this. We're going to turn our taxes up all the way. I mean, if I have unrest, I have unrest. There's not much I can do about it anymore. This is uh, this is Decimus Maximus. We need this replenishment badly. This army is going to be good to go. We'll be able to move up north. I, I just I had to have some troops in Thessalonica because I'm pretty sure, pretty damn sure that the, the Byzantines are going to attack me here. I think I can hold them off. I think. Let's go ahead and go for this melee defense. So I've got no money. We're going to go bankrupt. You're on the verge of bankruptcy. At your command. No, actually, I guess I have to keep some cash. There's not really much I can do. There's not much I can do. Corinthus isn't worth the damn thing anymore. I can't make any money from here. I mean, honestly, this public order, rebellions are the least of my concerns right now. But I mean, if we don't if we don't tax, we're losing we're losing crazy amounts of money. I mean, two thousand two thousand ducats. Look at this! Look how much it is to repair these structures. Holy crap! Three thousand. Honestly, if we lose Thessalonica, it's all over. I might as well just move this army north. Maybe go for Dyrrhachium. I mean, there's nothing to sack anyway, but... I don't think there's a point in keeping this army here. Let's go and do it. Warriness has decreased, huh? I think we're going to be attacked in Thessalonica. I'm not sure. Possibly. I 
Ooh, the Byzantines retreated. Well, that's nice, I guess. The province of Africa has been entirely destroyed. Now it's going to hurt our income even more. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over here to this army. This is our main army. And remember, our general with the army of the gods of war, they get 50% reduced upkeep. So we're going to have to give him the best troops. Let's see, what does he have right now? He's got 13. We're going to give him the Equitis Principes. We're going to give him... Yeah, we got to get rid of these mercs, actually. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five... Needs two more. How's that? We're gonna get rid of these mercs. I might get rid of the levies too. Either that or just get rid of the Akai militia. Militia. Let's go and take a look at our technology here. So this growth in this agricultural stuff should help us out. We'll also get growth plus two because of our forms. Um, I wish I had something to, to reduce upkeep, but I don't. So I guess we're just going to have to deal with what we have. Um, I can't repair any of this. Now, we're going to bankruptcy, so I guess I have to raise taxes. I'm not really sure how my income is going to get together unless we delete like this army or something, but... I need at least two armies operational right now until we can get conquer some territory. I want to go after Dirachium, I think, again. Or we go for, like, Scoopy or something and go sack it. That would give me some cash. That would give me the cash I need. It's not part of my, um, it's not part of my provinces anyway. My unflinching master will burn your cities. Okay, so the Germantians declared war on me. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, like, that's my concern right now. We do not give gifts like... Oh my god, the Byzantines want peace? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We will go ahead and have peace with the Byzantines. That means that I'm no longer at war with the Thame of Dardania. Yep, there it is. Although, I'm still at war with this guy, the province of Illyricum. Oh, so the province of Illyricum is the guy who attacked Dardania. That makes sense. Or, the, the province of Illyricum is the guy who attacked um, Dyrrhachium. That makes a lot of sense. There we go. We have some peace now. Okay. And it's only a short reprieve then. I'm going to repair my structures and still kill this guy. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we finally have some damn money. We're still losing cash though. Um, if I repair... 2400 this is this is 2400 this is 2000 what gives me money this 600 wealth from industry i think that might be the thing i have to repair we're going to have to keep some cash around until until god this jetty man that's oh wow look at that shit i can use some food too Okay, that should bring our finances under control. We're still going to get re Rebellion, I think, because I have taxes on medium. We're going to get a Rebellion, po possibly because of that Conquest modifier, but we should be okay. We've got some actual troops now. We have some troops available. So let's go ahead and end the turn there. Various has another uh, trait that he can... Or some, some more skill points. Let's go and give, him, give him some integrity. It's going to help us out with the public order. And I like... Let's go ahead and go for that army recruitment capacity. I want to go for the logistics sometime in the near future. Let's go and take a look here. Are there any offices? This man is a governor. And let's see, who's my general? Decimus Maximus? Let's go ahead and make him part of a, a military count. So we're going to get some money. And then Corinthus and such. These are all going to repair over time, I believe. But we want to definitely speed up the process. I kind of wish I had an agent because I want to see what's up here in Salona. Can I march against the province of Illyricum easily? We have an equal balance of power. I'm 15th in the world for strength. I probably can march up over there. Okay. 
All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break here, and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always. If you liked the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thanks so much.